What up? It's your boy Luke for Prez back again with another video for you guys. Hope everyone's doing great. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Travis Scott type beat with the help of Captain Plugins Epic. Obviously Travis Scott is one of the most famous rappers in the game today and has one of the most unique sounds in music as well. His beats are usually characterized by those dark and ominous vibes, super hard trap drums, and a lot of gritty textures and sub basses. So I'm going to incorporate a lot of those elements into this beat today. And my primary inspiration for this particular one is his song Butterfly Effect, which was produced by Murder Beats. It's actually one of my favorite songs by him. And it incorporates a lot of those characteristics that I just mentioned. So with all that being said, let's get into this. So today we're going to be working in the tempo of 138 BPM and the key of C minor. As is customary, I have Captain Chords Epic pulled up. Great place to start. And I've gone ahead and created a pretty complicated looking chord progression with some added notes as kind of a top melody that you can see here. But really, even though it looks kind of complicated, with Captain Chords Epic on your side, you can come up with something just like this in a matter of minutes. So really all I did was just start with a really basic three note chord. We got the C, which is the root note, F and then A flat. And then I just added another C on top of it. And I kind of just continued that pattern uh, for these next chords in the progression as well, just making it so they end up being seventh chords with four notes. Once I was done with the basic chords, I went back and started adding some additional notes above the chords, again, just to kind of serve as a counter melody. And how I came up with these notes specifically is just, I tried to just mirror what was already in the chord beneath it. That way I know it's gonna sound good. But even if I decided to use a different note, wherever I place the notes within Captain Chords, it's going to sound good because it's still going to be in C minor. So that's just kind of an added safety net for you when you're composing. I found this cool harp sound within Captain Plugins Epic. It's called the Harpsis Synth, Harpsy Synth, something like that. Anyways, shout out Phase Plant. It's one of the Phase Plant sounds. It's one of the newer ones that we got going on here. And I thought that was like a good starting point in terms of a sound to use. And yeah, so this is what it ended up sounding like once I was done. So kind of dark, kind of moody, but definitely bouncy. Of course, that's the number one uh, rule of thumb with my beats. Gotta have the bounce at some point. So that's what I tried to do with this pattern. Then I knew I wanted some other kind of melodic component, so I opened up Captain Melody Epic in the same key, C minor, of course. Found a flute sound, because a lot of Travis Scott songs have flutes here and there as kind of accents, right? And so that's what I wanted to do. And so I came up with this very basic pattern. I didn't even use the idea tool really, like in terms of randomizing different things. I just, went ahead and kind of clicked these in while the chords were playing just to see what sounded good and just kind of used my ear to do this. The thing with counter melodies, especially when the chord progression and the notes above the chord progression are already kind of busy and there's a lot going on, my rule of thumb when it comes to counter melodies is usually I'll have the notes be a little bit more long and drawn out covering you know more of the bars. So there's not too much going on that your ear has to kind of keep up with and then also that makes it harder for the artist to rap on you know or sing on harmonize on right so that's kind of why this looks the way it does a bit basic but in any case this is what it sounds like and with the chords Yeah. So from there, I pulled up Captain Deep to get a bass line going. As I mentioned, a lot of Travis Scott songs have some kind of gritty sub bass action, at least for 
certain parts of the beat. It's one of his like signature sounds, in my opinion. So I found the sub bass preset within Captain Deep Epic and I created this basic pattern. And as you can see, you get ghost notes of the chords that you used in Captain Chords. So you can really kind of see what you're doing and see like where the notes in the bass line are relating to the notes in your chords. And it just makes sure that everything sounds good together and is just another testament to how all of these plugins kind of work together to get you the best result possible in the quickest amount of time, which is really dope. So here's the bass line that I came up with. And with everything else playing at once. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. From there, I moved on to the drums. So I came up with this trap drum pattern here. The drums are a bit busier in Travis Scott songs in general, I would say. There's a lot of perk sounds, a lot of accents. They just kind of add to the atmosphere. So I wanted to include a bunch of those. So we got like multiple rims going on. We got sound effects, we got open hats. And then of course we have, you know, the 808 bass line as well that you can see here. Very basic hi-hat pattern with just like a couple stutters here and there, a couple little rolls, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So all together, the drums sound like this. Love it. After that, it really just comes down to arranging the beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so the beat arrangement is complete. I changed up the sound presets that ended up being used in the final beat. Uh, so instead of the sounds that you heard in Captain Plugins Epic for the chords, I used a sound from Massive. The flute is also from Massive. And then for the sub bass, you know I had to use the Growler Moog bass from Omnisphere. That's my go-to sub bass for the moment. And as far as the arrangement itself is concerned, it's pretty basic. I have essentially an intro, then what I would expect to be the chorus right here, going into a verse, then a bridge, and then back into the chorus, and then the whole thing kind of repeats with a bit of variation. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm gonna play it for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make a Travis Scott beat with the help of Captain Plugins Epic. I'm Luke for Prez, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.